<laughs> Prepare for battle. Hot. Tell you what, Tsunami, we are in it for the long haul. Uh, very much expecting quite a long game here. So, you know, we're going to keep the energy mellow, not tire ourselves out too early. Uh, Theban, you doing well, bud? <laughs> well, what did you I can't hear you, sir. I, I cannot hear you. I think we might have, uh, you might have muted yourself in Discord, buddy. But, uh, that's okay. We're taking it easy. What, 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 are, you, what are you saying? Just... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they would have done. They would have done. Okay, well, thank you very much. Yeah, you know, just want to be comfortable for this, uh, for this marathon we're about to enter. But, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm very excited for this matchup. I want to see a techie, especially Zyats. I mean, this guy is like a champion chess player. I don't know the technical terms of chess players, but he's a very, very good chess player. I've seen him play techies and do some wonderful, wonderful things. So I'm very excited to see if he can pull out a performance and, uh, maybe catch Alliance off guard with this draft. I mean, it, it, it's looking, I don't know, like, I don't know how you rate a techies game. But it might be good. <laughs> the battle begins. Yeah, yeah. It is indeed, yeah. PA, Zeus, Techies, these guys are monsters in the late game. You do not want to be going a long distance with them. But they have a draft and the game pretty quickly though, right? Like they've got this Venge, this Drow, these two heroes, they can push fearsomely quickly. And there's definitely gonna be something on board for Alliance which they might want to take advantage of if they don't want to risk the game getting out of control. None for you. It is indeed, yeah, and Zayat's also interrupting the pool here, which is quite nice, although uh, two creeps do still get away by the looks of it. Uh, one creep doesn't get pulled, uh, but Zayat's also going to take a decent amount of damage here from FNG and, FNG and Nico Baby as he goes to make that uh, creep pull happen, but he's actually bought himself a bottle, by the way. I don't know if you mentioned this already, but yeah. The naked bottle. <laughs> Jump in, gets himself pretty low, though the stun turn around from FNG and they will just bring him down. That was easy peasy. Meals on wheels from Zayat there and immediately coming through with the tips. Wow, that was not how that one was supposed to go. Any? Well, we will keep tabs on this top lane. Uh, meanwhile, down at bottom, we got Ramses and the PA and Solo on the Rubik versus the S4 Timbersaw and the Lena being played by Hand Skin. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty important lane to go pr decently well for the PA. She doesn't have to super win it, but it has to go okay. But at the moment, uh, it's, it's not really going okay, is it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of a menace, but uh, hopefully, hopefully Rams can make the recovery. <laughs> That's was just so brutal. Meanwhile, over in the middle lane, no one's going to get an EMP dropped on his head by Limp. Quite un unwelcome from him, being a Zeus. He does indeed like his mana, but he's got himself a nice lovely bottle. But that's in the top lane. They get a kill onto FNG, and Zad could be in some trouble in response as Nico Baby tries to run him down and will be successful in doing so. Meanwhile, the Illusion is actually going to go around and do a bit of demining. So pretty nice stuff from Alliance here as they make this trade happen. Interesting, but it, I mean, it's really good for techies to get kills early on in the game. Uh, he had some really good lanes yesterday as well, or the day before, I can't remember the last time we saw them, but they, they laned really nicely. Yeah, it was yesterday. He did good, so I'm, I'm feeling optimistic about Noah's performances here in the middle lane. Doesn't seem to be uh, out of practice at all. Meanwhile, up at the top, we got a little bit of trading happening as Zads could be in some trouble again. He's trying to find a place in the trees for himself to hide, but unfortunately, they find him and they will bring him down as Zads falls again. Now, three kills onto Zads from Nico, baby. No one in mid, getting very low, Limp, he's got the torn, anyway, he's going to be able to finish him off, the Zeus goes down, Limp finishes the job, and brings down that Zeus, some tips going to come down as well, man, a lot of tipping this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this PA... This pair is just not really having much of a lane, so you know they, they clearly knew Alliance that uh, this was a really good lane versus PA, but they're going to jump forward actually onto the Lena here. Looks like they're looking for a bit of aggression. I mean, they want to find something with the Thunder Gods. No one's going to get us off a double kill. Down goes Nico Baby at the top lane as Resolution and Zayat to make the deep dive. What a high value Thunder Gods are up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so basically sets up for three kills. Rams is going to jump across the solo and we'll be okay from S4. And that's going to put an end to things. Wow. Holy. That. I thought just go and like demine the tankies. <laughs> it literally like walked straight into his mind, blew it up, and then walked back to lane again. Just the, the NPC cut off. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting there. But uh, yeah, FNG came back to lane and immediately had to pop a salve because uh, he walked straight into a mine, which is never fun. So sometimes people see the usefulness of techies as Limp jumps in at Nib, throws down that EMP onto the Zeus. Zeus is going to blast out his mana before he gets stripped from him. And uh, Limp even going to get a D ward here as well. So kind of flexing on him a little bit on this Evoker. Turn. Okay at mid. Trading up, but no one's been very happy about life, really. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, Our yeah. Oh, solo. Oh, solo. He's been spotted down here in the bottom lane as S4 and Hanskin are going to try and run down. Meanwhile, up at top, FNG's being jumped by the three heroes on the side of the Radiant. They're going to be able to bring down FNG at the same time Solo will drop. So, um, you know, it's, it's just trades across the map. FNG at top, Solo Radiant's at bottom. bottom the port's just having a miserable time across the board. Comes the explosion, Zayats jumps himself forward, but uh, yeah, he's just kind of got himself killed here as he does run out of life. Resolution running in, really wants to try and bring down Nico Baby here. Thunder God's coming in as well, has he got the call? Is next na no, he doesn't, he gets stunned up. Silence up, taken down, but does bring down the uh, Drow along with her as no one's in. Pretty deep in this top lane, and FNG's just taking some chunks, so he's trying to back him up, but in comes S4. He's got the Shakram and he wants to bring down the Zeus. The Zeus will kill off FNG before he dies, but Dymo certainly shall. Meanwhile, Ramsey's still trying to find some sort of engagement with that Cold Snap and that Urn on top of him. As 
three. Not much that he can do here. The PA with a tornado, it's just gonna fall as well. Three here is dead here in the top lane and make it a Rubik as well. That's gonna be four. Lions, they are dominating on the fights right now. Uh, yeah, the techies died, respawned, and he's now jungling, so, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna try and go into the Timber Storm with the Dunk. They will be able to bring him down. S4 gets a little bit too confident up in the top lane, and with a big rotation, they will be able to kill him off. And no one for a tower of their Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, gonna take a little bit more than that. A little bit more squeezing. Meanwhile, down the bottom lane, Solo is getting squeezed the life out of him as Lions make rotations down to the bottom side and look to really take over the enemy jungle. So, so far... Mm -hmm. Bottom tower is under attack. I'll take that. Yeah, he's, he's really uncontested in this draft and in this game. No one's really looking to bother this Tim so He can just roll him around doing what he wants until we get some uh, more damage on the board. Maybe when the PA gets Deso further down the line, that's going to be a bit of a threat for him on the magic damage amplification from the Zeus. Meanwhile, the bottom, it seems like they're setting up onto this PA. She could be in some real trouble here. Lid's got unleashed. He's got himself this double damage room, so it's going to be a lot coming onto the PA. And Laguna Blade's going to finish her off. Bye-bye, Ramses, as they go for the deep dive into bot under the tier two, and they are successful. S4 gets caught out by the mines, Radiant's gets blown up by the techies attack. and finished off Radiant's by the thunder gods. That is a combo. 1,146 damage done by six remote mines from the techies. That early stash paying off huge dividends. Yep. Here did. <laughs> bring him down 100 to 0. No one was even nearby. Didn't even need any help. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> oh no. Ramsey's the position 4 PA. Lions. They're going deep into the enemy side of the map, but they are moving into mines here as the Sun Pump is going to explode. The Zeus is the one in trouble. The Gunnabay is going to finish him off. Meanwhile, S4 nearly gets dropped just by the mines. Won't be enough to finish him off, but he needs to be careful with where he walks now. Meanwhile, Solo's going to Timber Chain in the man. Gets the MP on the way through. Alliance still coming forwards, and they'll swap back. Zayad Zayad's going to get caught out by the multi shot and killed off by Nico Baby. Also, Solo going down. Alliance, when it comes to raw damage in the team fights, then they. And there is not much 404 can do when they decide to group up and start pressuring them. So they're going to be able to claim the tier one middle tower with this as well. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Invisibility. Yeah, Ramsey's as if he wasn't feeling pressured enough already. It's gonna just start to feel worse and worse. 
but it looks like Resolution, Solo, and Zayats are looking for some action here. They've got the Blink Dagger on Resolution and uh, add the Blast Off damage into that with two points into that. It's going to be a lot. And they found themselves a Lina. Jump in. Cool comes down. Lina in some trouble. In comes the Techies and down goes Hanskin. A cl nice clean kill from the side of 404, but S4 immediately rotating into this middle lane to make sure they can't put any pressure on the tower afterwards. Yeah, but just that singular threat as well. Looking around the map, you know, putting pressure, can probably solo kill, maybe not PA, but just about everybody else on the team. It's so scary. I feel better on yeah, yeah. Radiant are scanning. Yeah, he's a bit of a beast. And one thing which wasn't mentioned before as well, which I think is really important about Invoker, is that he counters acts not just in, you know... When he jumps in and goes to his call, the one thing Axe hates is being thrown into the air. He can't spin, he can't use his blade mail or whatever. And not just that, but Techie takes it as well, because you can catch him when he's in the blast off animation. Which means if they're trying to combo up, then Limp could just interrupt the both of them. It's really difficult. And yes, Rubik is in a bit of trouble. That spawn's coming in deep here. No one's gonna turn up to this fight though. The call comes out on TFO, because that can smash him down, blast off. And now, well, S4, they don't really seem to have the damage to deal with this dude. He's just chilling doing what he wants. He's gonna take down Zayat. They do get themselves out of stasis trap, not doing a whole lot. Nice little stun comes out from the Lena, knocking down that they will be able to kill off Zayats and, uh, sorry, uh, Ramses falls here as well. S4 completely unfondled here as he's doing whatever he wants. Money to burn. No. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Why, thank you. If he even decides to bother going for it this game, I mean, right now we've seen a blink and now he's got a, uh, a Vanguard queued up, so maybe even the fact that this tornado is such a threat that he's like, eh, it's not really worth it, but I don't know, going against Drow it always feels pretty good, but we'll see which direction he decides to go in. Oh, he's so poor. Oh, man. Yeah. Wait for it. Yeah. So that's going to make some stacks for him, though. Kind of, uh, you know, to say sorry for picking techies and uh, restricting your farming this much. I'll make some stacks to make up for it, sir. Please don't kick me. Radiant's bottom tower is yeah, under attack. It. Radiant's structures are fortified. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rezo tries to put the call onto Liv, does miss it though, now it could be in some trouble as they're gonna get that cold snap thrown down onto the axe, stopping him from doing anything really. FNG is gonna get dropped here, but it looks like Solo's gonna go down just as quickly, and the Goon Blade coming into the axe is gonna bring him down as well. It's a two for one trade for Alliance. You missed the call, you paid the price. That's pretty big, but they have also got a huge mind stash here, which no one has given them the vision of. Just to see who's walking around, Liv, stay away. Oh no, he pops it. Zayat, he, he lets it go a little bit too early, premature one could say, and uh, that means that entire stash has been completely wasted. Although there are still tons of mines around this area, yeah. Mm -hmm. One lane is pretty much just out of bounds once you get that axe.
Yep. And skins on Minesweeper duty, just kind of walking around, not getting exploded, running out of HP. Oh, Zion's gonna jump in, try to get the kill, doesn't do so, but does get the deny, and no one's gonna be able to pick up Hanskin in response. A really nice trade there from Zayat. Brings down Lena, denies himself, and even sets up for a kill for Zeus. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, they get the D ward now, as expected. Pudge can't do it, Batman can't do it. Um, could do it. Oh, jump in the middle lane, they've got the call out onto the Timber Sword. Did they have the damage to bring him down as a question? Nice lip. Got to get swept out by FNG though, saving his life. And they will be able to keep the Timber Sword alive. Not quite dropping into that threshold for the level one culling blade. Poor old resolution, he wishes he had that level two real bad here, but sadly did not, so couldn't finish off the Timber. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yeah. Yeah, they are trying to make the space for her, but she needs so much of it. Battle Fury is finished, and uh, hopefully the Power Tread should come shortly enough as well. Philosopher's Stone, I mean, it's got to be tempting for the PA at this point to be like, ah, maybe I need that, but just kidding. There's an extent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> On Zeus, I can accept it. Leshrac, I can accept it, but uh, any right clicking core. Dyer's no. middle tower is under attack. And only if you're very, very desperate, because generally you want the, uh, the other stuff be better. No, no, I mean on like, on like, ad, in cores. Yeah, unless you're dead. Anyway, Solo, he's uh, he's made his new home. He has given up on the Radiant team and he has joined uh, the tree people. And is now living in the top trees, hoping to just live out the rest of this game in peaceful um, pacifism. Oh, but look at Alliance, choo choo. Resolution might be on the tracks here, doesn't even realize it. The cold snap comes in. This one's gonna get on top of him instantly, and they're gonna rip through that axe like he's spaghetti. Meanwhile, they found Solo. He tried to try and uh, cut the creep wave with the timber chain and the fade ball, and now he's in a bit of trouble. Attack. Trying to make his way through the tree line. Nico Baby's gonna keep on chasing, and there's only so far he can go. They use the timber chain to beat down some trees. It's pretty Dyer's nice. Going for the TP out. Multi shot is available. Nico Baby Radiant's might not find him. He gets himself top away. Top Very Radiant's nice jukes from Solo. Top utilizing top. that timber chain to cut himself a path and gets himself to safety. Very nicely done. Yeah, space to get some money, space to get down plenty more bombs and just be as annoying as possible. And now we see him move into the enemy side of the map. He just wants to kind of get some unsuspected mines down. He's even going to give Ramses a path to get in here as well. So that I'm going to go together and just kind of uh, make up their new jungle. They've, they've moved house as well. Meanwhile, so it does get found once again. That sneaky little Rubik doesn't get away this time. And now they're into the Roche pit. Nico Baby and FNG get started saying that. Well, they're moving on to Rezo here. Yeah, the axe caught out again in the middle lane. Oh dear, although there is a big... Oh no, it's just a thing of mine to check for the runes. Meanwhile, uh, yeah, S4's on top of Ramses, yeah. The Zyas is nearby, could maybe give him the option to jump across to. Well, Ramses, he's actually going to try and jump back to the creeps, and unfortunately, Hanskin was ready, so we'll be able to kill him off. And, uh, well, the is going to leave. Meanwhile, there's Mind Stash here. Not nearly enough damage to bring down Limp, though. Pretty disappointing once again. Roshan has fallen to the dark. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 
Yeah. Yeah, just wants to... I mean, Zeus is the biggest threat in this game, right? We, we, we talk about Ramses and Zayats a lot. Um, these guys are just kind of going to be a threat one day if they're given the space. But the Zeus is the guy who's going to be making the space for them, defending the high ground and dealing the damage in these team fights. He is everything. If they can kill him off, then 404 won't be able to defend any longer. They've seen hands getting, oh no, walking into the wrong neighborhood and Zayats is going to glide on through and blast him down on the Nimbus as well. Very nice combination. Meanwhile, Solo is going to meet his sticky fate once more under that tier three. And now Tornado going to connect onto Resolution, but he's going to try and make his way through the trees. The swap back comes in, the stun comes through as well. They've got more than enough damage to rip through that axe. Ramsey in some trouble as well as Nico Baby blinks himself forward, gets on top of the PA and brings her down instantaneously. They will get the kill onto FNG at the very least, thanks to a couple of bombs as Zaya's trying to run him through the trees. Limp, don't chase the techies. Rule number one, never chase the techies. Oh no, they're chasing the techies on top of the mine. Zaya, he's going to blow up the Aegis. Thankfully, it is just an Aegis and they will finish off that pesky little Little techies anyway, but man, that is uh, that is real one right there, folks. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Radiant top tower is under attack. Well, what did you expect? I think he's going for Nico Baby. Nico Baby was near some mines and was just kind of taking a ton of damage and Thunder God was quite close to finishing a job, but wasn't quite there. And thankfully, I think someone's been digging around with a shovel or maybe just buying salves, but uh, FNG's trying to keep everyone nice and healthy. Meanwhile, no one. He's been caught by Lim. This is a big target. You can't let the Zeus go down, but it doesn't look like they've got an option here. They are going to be ripped through that Zeus. No one put into the grave for 60 seconds. Alliance at least going to take some tier twos with this time. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower he is, is under attack. He is. Radiant's middle yep. tower has fallen. <laughs> Ramsey is almost in his fountain. He could still be into trouble. Great call in from Resolution. They're holding it to it. They don't care. Alliance is so damn strong. And even with a Sunstrike inside the base, just trying to finish off the PA, they will stay on the high ground. The Zeus back in five seconds. Their time is limited. And when the Zeus is back, they will be able to repel Alliance, I believe. But he has now got that Aghanim Scepter available. So he can place down a mine sign if he so wishes. But would rather just place some pretty obvious mines and kind of force back the side of Alliance without having to overcommit to it. He does have a 360 second cooldown the minefield sign, by the way, so don't mess with that. Bottom barracks just being peppered away out by Nico Baby. He's got the range, he's got the drown, he's actually gonna jump in with the sands onto the Ruby. Ruby could be in some trouble. Hand's gonna go to join him by blinking across into the trees. That's what doesn't really care. He's just gonna sit in the Zeus's face, lightning me, bro. I don't care. And also, uh, we're gonna get the tornado up onto the techies. Nico Baby, it's in the bliff. Oh, no, he's absolutely fine, actually. They'll just back themselves away. He's got this, uh, this, this dinosaur on the front, so it doesn't even matter as the uh, lightning bombs come in. Resolution gets on top of him, the call comes out, dragging him maybe into a bit of danger, but as for he still doesn't care. Hands get maybe might be the one they can pick off, but Ramsey's the one who jumps forward for it. He's gonna get punished immediately for that bravery. Meanwhile, Axe jumps in, gets a cool kill, off S4. Now looking across Nico Baby as well, but the damage from Limp and FNG is nothing to laugh at. Four heroes dead now on the side of 404. Only the Zeus remains. Alliance won't be able to continue this push, really, but still, I mean, they are taking huge chunks out of the radiant base and also out of their heroes as well. Actually, they might not be done. Jump in with a tornado. A buyback comes out from the axe. They want to try and make something happen here. They jump forward. Dr. Limp call comes through. Invoker in some trouble. Dunk comes in and the fade ball will finish them off. They bring down that invoker. Three heroes now down the side of Alliance. It does cost them that buyback on the axe, but that kill buys them precious seconds on the side of 404. Nope. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. The sky just knows. The sky just. Oh, does he know? Oh, does he know? Oh, my sweet child. Oh, the four star for. Wait, what were those reactions? 
Oh my goodness. This kid is insane. <laughs> I, I, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Never doubt the Nico man. Baby no longer. Well, they're still sticking around. They still want to try resolution. He, he just he just dreams, and that's going to be a fairly big call onto two support. Solo in the back as well. Going to try and take him down. Nico flicking across, trying to just bring down the Rubik. It should be able to kill him with a volley of arrows. Leon Haskins turning around. Yule stunned. Zayat's in from the low ground, though. Trying to block the Lina. Will be able to do so with a bomb, but uh, going to also give away a kill to Nico Baby as well. And that's pretty high value as well. 580 gold over towards Nico Baby for that one. So don't really want to be feeding away this very high. Well, I mean, that's is pretty rich, bro. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh god! Still not at 10k. Dyer are scanning. Pretty unique. Me want Nicker Baby in some trouble up in the top lane. Can they finish her off? Yes, they can. Down she goes. That is a godlike streak going the way of resolution. He will take that 1k gold with open arms. Alliance though, look like that. Mm hmm. Oh god, that tornado splits the haystack a little bit there. Well. Interesting game. Oh no, they find a telescope on the side of Alliance. That is so juicy for Revenge Drow. Unfortunately. Close the enemy, so they might not be expecting this. The sword's gonna come out from FNG. It's immediately gonna jump on the blast off, and inside that Nimbus is a decent amount of damage, but the Goomblade gonna finish off Sire. He wants one of his, gonna rip through, not doing a whole lot, but the dunk is gonna bring down FNG. Resolution using that speed now to get himself away from S4. S4's actually found himself a juicier target as he sees the Zeus. Me on the back line of the fight, though, solo. He's been kind of singled out by Hanskin and Lid. They'll be able to kill him. Ramsey's actually jumping in with a call onto the Invoker. Reno, you know, two play from Ramsey's and Resolution as they extinguish that Invoker in the back line, but S4 does the same thing to no one, and now with that uh, LSA coming down onto the axe. He could be getting his stakes a little bit tenderized here, but that said, Ramsey's jumping back in. He wants to fight. He's going to bring the fight to Hanskin, but Linda's back into the engagement, blinking down to the low ground, jumps across. They really want to finish the job. Core will do it. But now in comes Nico Baby, back from the dead, looking to fight, and brings down Resolution, moves across, brings down that PA as well, and that's going to be beautiful. In fact, Nico, I don't even think he went down there. It was just his respawn from earlier on. He comes back in on full health, full mana, takes down a bunch of heroes, and that is going to be that. Meanwhile, Limp, oh, Jesus, nearly gets killed off by some bombs. Doesn't quite happened for him and another techie stash doesn't get the job done that's gotta feel pretty bad for Zayats. radiant structures are fortified radiant's top tower is under attack mm -hmm. he has but i'm not sure does S4 care? Let's find out. Okay, this just didn't focus. S4 does not care. And <laughs> Tornado's gonna come. I love this blink as well. They just blink past his mind. Nice job, Zayad. Doesn't do anything. And Lim's gonna survive once again. Oh man, Alliance, you know, they, they, they figured it out. The counter to techies just buy some blinks. Meanwhile, Solo is trying to make some cheeky plays in the back lines, but gets immediately exterminated. They will finish off that invoke. I mean, that's dead for 110 due to Nimbus and the Thunder Gods, but Nico Baby and FNG still perfectly peachy as they run themselves forward, Zayas. Well, he is dead, but his man's just gonna throw out a couple of daggers and now to come to buyback from Zayat. Zeus? Oh my goodness, he's just gonna get run down. That's a Zeus dead, he does have a buyback. Zayat's gonna get swapped in, it's a immediate dieback from him. The good they finishes the job. Ramsey's in some trouble now as well, doesn't have that BKB, just gets stun locked and killed off. Alliance, the exterminators, find themselves another. Zeus, the only one alive now for the side of 404. He's got a mountainous defense all by himself, and it's looking like it's gonna be Megas here from Alliance, I would imagine. Oh, Nico, baby, he wants more than Megas. He's tapping away at those tier fours. Yeah. No. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. 
I love Nico's aggression here. He is under that Nimbus, so taking a decent amount of damage, but with that Scardi, it's still plenty tanky. We'll just turn around, eliminate the Nimbus. they got to be careful to swap back onto the Zeus. Oh, no, no one cannot get caught out here. Ghost is going to buy him a little bit of time, but it's not going to make a difference. They'll cut down the Zeus. The Axe, the only one left at this point, is Solo's going to respawn, and uh, FNG takes a dive in the enemy fountain, which doesn't end up too well for him, but surely this is the end. Nico's just focusing on that objective, wants to get out of this game as quickly as possible. No more techies, no more life. The Ancient explodes, and Lance will take game number one in this rather interesting, but ultimately an effectual draft from 4 and 4. Alliance, you know, they have the solutions. I really like what they were doing as well, you know.